Hi there, Gary here from Longsons. I'm going to take you on a brief video tour of this really well presented, spacious, detached, or link detached I should say, three bedroom house we have situated right in the corner of a cul-de-sac in the popular Norfolk market town of Watton in Norfolk. Okay, so there's the property right there in front of us. And to the front we have a pretty sizeable front and side garden. So we've got, uh, to start with, we've got this uh, driveway providing access to the garage and off-road parking. There's also further parking area laid to shingle providing, uh, well with the driveway and this uh, additional parking area, plenty of parking there for several vehicles. We've got the front garden is laid to lawn with a selection of established shrubs, plants and ornamental trees throughout. So the garden does wrap all the way around the side here, along the side of the... and just goes along to the end there. And we have access either side to the rear garden. So I'll just show you the property location. So we are, as I mentioned, situated just at the end of the cul-de-sac in Level Gardens. So we've got outside lights as well. So we'll head on in through the front door and we'll have a look around inside. So we're straight into the entrance hall. Got uh, stairs up to the first floor. Doors off to the various rooms. So we'll start firstly with the lounge stroke dining room. So it's a really good sized room. And in the uh, dining end of the room we have UPVC double glazed French doors opening out to the rear garden. We'll be having a look at the rear garden in a very short while towards the end of the video. Property is UPVC double glazed throughout. Gas central heating as well. So there we have a good sized lounge stroke dining room. Then we have the kitchen. So we've got some, a range of very nice fitted kitchen units to wall and floor. There's a uh, composite one and a half bowl sink units with mixer, tap and drainer. There is integrated fridge and freezer in the corner there. There is space and plumbing for washing machine. There's integrated electric oven with a five ring gas hob and extractor hood over. And also before I forget, the property also has a water softener as well. There's entrance door opening to the rear garden, window to the rear. And we also have on the ground floor, a cloakroom with WC and hand wash basin. So it is, uh, it is a particularly dark and overcast morning today. So uh, if you could just bear that in mind, because I can assure you the property would normally be um, far brighter than what it normally is, uh, than what it's looking today. And that's purely down to the uh, rather gloomy weather we're having today. So we're now on the first floor landing, we have built-in cupboard there, that's housing the hot water cylinder, doors off to the various rooms. So we're going to start with bedroom one, so a good size double bedroom, window looking out to the rear, and a good range of fitted wardrobes with sliding mirrored doors. So, really good sized room. And 
then next room along we have bedroom two another good sized double bedroom again a good range of fitted wardrobes also with sliding mirror doors window this time to the front and then bedroom three single bedroom but a good size single bedroom window again to the front and sliding mirrored doors to the fitted wardrobes okay and we also have on the first floor a very nice bathroom with a very nice bathroom suite so we've got a bath, we do have a rainfall shower head over with a separate hand shower attachments and shower screen. There is a towel radiator. And then we have wash basin and WC, both set within fitted cabinets. And obscure glass window to the rear. Okay, so that is the property interior. We are now heading downstairs, gathering shoes en route, and we'll pop the shoes back on, head out the entrance door into the very well presented enclosed rear garden. So it's, uh, it's not a bad sized garden at all. We've got a passageway there through to the front with gated access. And we have on the other side a really good sized wooden garden shed stroke workshop as well. I believe it's 12 by 6, I believe I was advised. And then we've got a greenhouse. We've got the majority of the garden laid to shingle. Got this uh, good size paved patio seating area. There's a path running around the garden, which then leads us to a metal gazebo providing a covered seating area. There is an external electric power socket just in the corner there. We have ornamental fish pond with water feature there's outside tap and shrubs and plants to the raised beds throughout okay so that was a brief video tour of this uh, really well presented link detached spacious three bedroom house we have situated uh, tucked away right in the corner of a cul-de-sac on a popular development in the market town of Watton in Norfolk thank you for watching